going on, guys? Jeff here. Nelson on the screen. All right, Edgley Nelson is the commander. And uh, quick rundown of the teams there. Fighting a German carrier, a Besser, which is a problem. Okay. Uh, Nelson doesn't have the best AA. You know, you're going to see a little bit of uh, some concerns from that. This Nelson, one of my favorite ships. Very, very challenging to play uh, if you don't understand armor angling. Um, if you understand armor angling, you can have yourself quite a good game in this. Uh, the strategy that I like to employ um, is try to basically, you know, if, if you're looking at a clock, okay, 10 to 2 is the angle I like to give, okay? And the reason why I say 10 to 2, you see that we get a good shot on the Navy. The reason why I say 10 to 2 is because you want people to think you're mostly broadside because you want them to shoot at your midline of your ship. That's where you have the most armor. The last thing you want to do is go bow in. Anything with 15 or 16 inches is going to rip right through your right through the face of that bow. Okay? It's going to hit a citadel. It's going to mess you up. Okay? And you'll have yourself a bad time. Now, I've gone back and forth to see Besser there already is targeting me. You know, so Carrier is already going after me. Uh, I see Nelson out in the distance. I'm waiting for that uh, other battleship to kind of give me enough angle here to where I can really give uh, give him a full broadside here. So uh, it's going to be a decent game in the Nelson. Again, nothing super crazy or over the top, but you know something that's an above average game in the Nelson that people, in my opinion, you can expect to see out of this ship. This is uh, probably, if played correctly, one of the most powerful ships at tier 6. Um, and the reason why I say that is because the AP does serious damage. Beautiful AP on this thing. Okay, and as I say that, we rip them for almost 9k. Alright, uh, beautiful AP on this, and the AG is unbelievable. Okay, so both your shell types are great, and you can do very well exclusively firing either one of them. Now you take into consideration, obviously you have both and you can switch back and forth. You know, the one thing that I'm gonna try to work on more so, I have a tendency in the ship to get fixated on the AP or the HE in, in a round. And instead of trying to work like I, I was trying to talk about in the Duke of York the last time I played that, where you're switching back and forth between your shell types, I need to employ almost the same strategy in the Nelson. And the reason why that strategy, I think, works so well is because when you hit somebody with the HE, you get that fire going, you get that consistent ticking damage, and then you start throwing AP at them. You know, then, then you're getting chunk damage with the AP, and you're also getting that burning fire damage with the, with the HE. So uh, that's going to be where I'm going to try to take my Nelson play uh, and my British battleship play, especially Tier 6 outside of the hood. Could I basically exclusively play AP unless I'm presented with, uh, you know, super well-angled, uh, well-armored target or uh, destroyer? But uh, other than that, I, I, I like to, uh, you know, use the AP and HE combo. So obviously that uh, uh, cruiser ended up getting sunk, the Budiani. Now you're seeing here Queen Elizabeth throwing some shots at us. Yeah, he hit us for a couple K there, but again, we're angled pretty pretty okay, you know, not nothing great, but we're angled enough. Now you see Nelson kind of coming around that corner. Uh, I'm shooting at the Nelson, okay, he's turning in. Now, based on what I'm seeing here, it's going to be hard to rip through his bow, uh, but we're still getting damage. We're still getting penetrations, we're still getting damage. Nevi here comes flying around the corner, he's uh, got his... Uh, suicide torp run set up on our friendly battleship uh, so it's a good job here by by whoever shot over my head I think it might have been a battleship um, sending salvos out you know that, that's good uh, when people make these like super hyper aggressive plays you got to get rid of them you got to punish them for it and uh, you see there we basically take almost all of the Nievi's health uh, a fire and incapacitation fortunately he took out our friendly uh, battleship. I don't know if he ended up taking him out or somebody ended up shooting him, but basically the, the torp damage at the very least did so much that he was a one-shot or he ended up sinking him. 
I don't remember which one it was that popped up. So, you know, it is what it is with that. But, again, this Nyevi probably thinks he's out of the range of uh, danger from this British uh, shells. And we're going to remind him that he is not. Get rid of him. So, and then, again, we got the, we got the sinking. We're going to immediately switch back to AP, right? Uh, you know, and look at the, the our gun angling on this. Okay, this is another thing I want to talk about here. These turrets... Okay, I know it's a weird uh, turret layout for a battleship, uh, and, and it's going to take some playing around with this ship to really get used to uh, the angling these guns have and, and the angles that they fire at and how to how much you have to um, angle and what the angle you have to give to get all three turrets on, etc. But again, if you play around with it a little bit and you, you, you're using that little visual indicator on the bottom of the screen that shows what angle your ship is giving, what angle your ship is at, you can really do um, a lot of quality uh, angling and maximizing your damage dealing, getting all your turrets on. Now you see there, obviously that was a misalignment by me. He was, Nelson was kiting away slightly. I thought he was giving me almost flat broadside and that's why a lot of those shells ended up landing short. So you see here Nelson again. Uh, not really paying attention to us. I don't know what he's doing here, but he is giving me flat broadside. Slowed down a little bit there, but again, we still got, got him for about 9K. Uh, but you see here, this is what I'm talking about. So Nelson, you can actually get away with some of these shots, especially, or uh, some of this angling, especially if you're angled out or angled in a little bit. And the reason why is because his armor is actually not bad on the side. It's actually very good. Your biggest issue is when you get flat broadside like he's doing here, you're going to be, end up getting punished. And he does get punished by friendly battleship, but that was on the nose. We ended up punished. So with the Citadel there, like uh, like you saw. So again, you know, if you give uh, too much of an angle, if you give too much to shoot at, Nelson will be punished. Okay, you will pay for that decision. Uh, but if you keep your armor angling steep enough, you're gonna get a lot of ricochets and a lot of standard pens on the worst end of it, okay? So you see there, Nelson, we end up getting him. He's our second sinking of the game. Again, I'm trying to always keep my my eye open here, okay? I'm being targeted by the aircraft carrier. Uh, you know, is what it is, okay? 3,800, you shake it off. It's like getting hit one time with a shell. You just keep moving forward. I got the four heels, okay? Um, you know, the, this this Nelson uh, commander setup is very powerful. Uh, I did end up, on a, on a side note, I did end up getting uh, Megatron, I think it is. The one that's uh, the for the Germans. But anyway, his base trait gives you extra reach on uh, Battleship's main guns. And I ended up picking him up. Uh, I wanted him like months ago. And then Azure Lane Nelson came back, and so I ended up getting Azure Lane Nelson. But again, we're getting into a little more too much detail on all this junk. Um, long story short, I wanted that uh, so I could keep using uh, Madden. Now I have him. I got Madden's reach out to about 16 and a half kilometers on these uh, Tier 6 battleships here. And you see there, taking the shot at Colorado. So I may be giving him another uh, another look on these ships, and then I'll probably post that and you know keep compare and contrast strengths and weaknesses of uh, Azure Nelson versus Cunningham, or not Cunningham versus uh, Sir Charles Madden. Then you can basically make your decision on what you want to do uh, if you have you know that reaching out. Uh, but word to uh, note or something to note that ship setup I have uh, I believe. I've gone back and forth, and you see there a big ripper on the Queen Elizabeth. That one I've gone back and forth on whether I want to have uh, um, the Japanese uh, concealment battleship commander, um, or if I want to put Cunningham as the second inspiration on top of that reaching, uh, the battleship reach with uh, Megatron. So again, you know, that's kind of a make your, make your own choice on that, go from there. But I still think that overall, from where I'm at, and you see there's a good shot, end up taking out the Colorado. Um, from where I sit and from where I'm, you know, observing, I still think that this Agile Nelson is by far, by far the best commander for the British line. 
Um, I, don't, I honestly don't think it's close at this point. You know, when I was like looking through which ones I wanted to get and which ones I thought were worth it and not, this one to me stood out by far the most of the two, the blend between Cunningham, what I like about Cunningham, and uh, Madden and what I really like about Madden. So that, to me, I mean, you can't go wrong with, with this setup. So I end up slowing, backing off the accelerator a little bit there so we don't take that front torp. Um, so we're up to 87,000 damage and you see, you know, we're just taking our pop shots, right? We're, we're kind of, we kind of sailed into the middle of the map here. I'm okay with, uh, the way that this is being contested. The map is being contested right now because we're up by, uh, about, what is that? 80 points. If my, uh, math is correct. And it's two to two, even on the cap count. So I'm not worried about losing the lead. Um, Vesser shows up there. We send a salvo out. We end up getting about a 7K ripper on him. Uh, you know, I I like uh, the way that these British AP shells interact in this game. I think that the, the way that they uh, penetrate and, and the, the way that the fuse goes off in them uh, really does a great job against these cruiser or these carriers and cruisers for that matter. And uh, they, they actually hit hard enough to really do some serious battleship damage. And you see there, bit a big another big ripper on the uh, the Vesser. We get a, a punishing shot there. So that's what I was talking about. When you give too much angle to enemy battleships, uh, even if it's an up-tiered battleship, it doesn't matter. You know, you're going you're gonna to pay for it. Uh, and you see there Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, we have them lined up. And at this point... I had, I'm hoping I get sinking on him here, and we do. Now I'm thinking, all right, maybe a Kraken, right? Maybe a Kraken. Uh, but unfortunately, you're going to see here, this Vessor ends up getting knocked out. You know, our friendly uh, aircraft carrier has bomb bomb runs over him, and uh, I'm thinking, well, maybe you know we've seen a miss before and whatever, and uh, okay, well he basically put him down nothing. And Fuso ended up taking them out. So here's a quick look at the uh, the Nelson for you. One of my favorite tier sixes. Uh, check it out if you like the video, guys. Leave it a like. As always, we'll see you guys on the high seas.